Wizard World for Lauderdale. I'm here with actor, former wrestler, high school wrestler, former football player, Norman, Oklahoma, musician. Yes. And you have the band, and, and that's cool. And you're here at Wizard World Fort Lauderdale. It's Christian Kane. Now, you're from Norman, Oklahoma, so I got to start off with this because uh, with the wrestling and all. Yeah. WWE Hall of Fame announcer Jim Ross is a big OU guy, sure. huge OU guy, and I'm just curious if Christian Kane ever met Jim Ross. I have not met Jim Ross yet. That's one person I have not met, man. But I remember, I mean, there was a there was a guy, there was, I mean, he hang their OU helmet on the turnbuckle, man. I mean, that was like Doctor Death, Steve Dr. Williams, Steve Williams, man, and that was like a big thing growing up for me, you know. So it was like that was the coolest thing in the world, being in Norman, Oklahoma, where the college is, and seeing one of your heroes. He always hung his OU helmet up, and I was. Like, Oh, man. <laughs> man. See, that's the thing. When you were younger, did you watch a little bit of it? I watched it all the time. You go. Yeah, I'm just still just a, just a big fan. Yeah. What made you like it? Well, because it was it was it was show business. It was it was it was everything else. And these guys, regardless of what you want to say about wrestling, it's it takes an unbelievable athlete to do what they do, man. I mean, I've I've done my own, I've done my own fights for. 15 years now, and on leverage... No, no stunt was, work. Yeah. No stunt work, per se? Oh, all stunt work. I was a fight choreographer. I didn't have a stunt double. So I did all my own stuff. I know how bad my body hurts when I'm not jumping off the top work. When I'm just when I'm just cracking, like, bones to bone to bone on blocks, and, you know, it's all stage. It's all dancing for me because I'm not. we're not really hitting people. These guys are, are, are smashing into other bodies, so, I mean, it's hard for me to get out of bed. I don't know how they do it. Did you ever go to a show? I have been to a show. Yeah, you have been to a show then and all like that. Sure. Do you remember just the excitement and just how it's the electric. fans got into that? It's electric, man. I mean, I've been to, recently I've been to more UFC fights just because a lot of my friends fight for the UFC. And, uh, and it, it reminds me of that. I mean, you know, it's just like, it's, but actually, in all honesty, when something great happens on the UFC, everybody goes wild. And when they come out, they go wild. And this thing, the energy never stops, man, with the with, with Professional wrestling, it just never stops, and it's amazing. These fans are amazing. Yeah. Christian, did you ever think about going into pro wrestling or MMA after high school? <laughs> I'm not tall enough. I wish I was. <laughs> These guys are all like six four and six five and six. Even the seven. MMA guys, even the MMA guys. Well, the MMA guys are well. I mean, by the, by the time MMA got there, I was a little bit too old. I did I did uh, study MMA a little bit and stuff like that, but by, by that time, you know, I mean, there's 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 21 year year old kids coming up that know more than I have ever known in my entire life and you can't fight those guys. There's a Wizard World coming up in Tulsa. Yeah. And that's close to where that's right. you're from and all, so that's exciting for you to do that. There's a guy that's gonna be there called The Undertaker. Yeah. And I didn't know if that's someone that you watched when you oh, were sure. growing up. Big fan, man. And do you think fan. you might get to meet him at this event? Well I'm gonna have to man, he's gonna be there and you can't really miss him. I mean he's a, he's a, he's a big cat man, so it's uh so I'm looking forward to meeting him. Yeah, exactly. I mean my one of my all-time favorite wrestlers is Kane. I don't think he likes me very much because I because my last name's Kane and I got like Kane.com across the board. But uh, but Kane is a we, we did a we did a we did a, uh, a Wizard World about ten years ago. We did and I was working with Josh Sweden who did uh, Angel. He's my boss. He asked me to come out, so we did. And Kane was sitting right next to us. And that's a big man. And uh, and because my last name was Kane, I don't think he liked me very much. He was looking over at me, and he just didn't have that. But but I'm a fan of his. I just want to make that on record in case he does punch me. He knows that I was a fan before, uh, but The Undertaker, uh, I mean, he's just, he's an icon, so uh, I can't wait to see him, man. I can't wait to see him. That's awesome you mentioned that, because on, in the wrestling world, sports entertainment world, Kane is Undertaker's brother, yeah. so you'll get to see Undertaker. Maybe you could address that with him, yes. so to smooth things over. Yeah, just kind of like get back in there and just go, listen, I apologize about the whole thing. <laughs> And the other thing, which is I think really cool, because you mentioned Kane, and it's Christian Kane, and you spell your last name K A N E, yeah. which is how he spells it for his character. Yeah, exactly. There's also another wrestler that used to wrestle for WWE, wrestle for WWE called uh, Christian. So I was even going to ask you, so did Christian Kane come from these it, two WWE characters? For a while there, for a while there, a couple of years ago, if you Googled Christian Kane. You got you got me then wrestling, then me then wrestling, then me then wrestling. It kind of went back and forth, and so it was a very strange thing to happen. For yeah, exactly. especially the way I spell it. So yeah. Have you ever met The Rock, Dwayne Johnson? I've been around The Rock. Yeah, I've, I've met Dwayne Johnson. Um, he was with um, he was with another friend of ours, and uh, we were at a, we were at a, we were at a, a, a restaurant, I should say, in Hollywood. And uh, I got to tell you, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He probably won't remember me, me but he was. You can't not see him. He's so big, and he's just, you know, he, 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 
is, uh, but he was the, he was the nicest guy. I remember shaking his hand, and he was just such a cool cat, man. And it was, uh, it was it was it's so great to see people in Hollywood that are doing well, that are really great people at heart. And I and I believe that about him, man. It, it was so so it was, it was an honor for me. And that's interesting because Rock does a lot of action movies, and he can act too, please. Sure. But the thing is, like he has this thing Ballers now on HBO. Yeah. I don't know, maybe down the road, you seem like someone that would fit nicely in one of his type of movies or or shows. I, sure, I certainly Because your physicality, you your acting. Man, come on, man. You get to his, to, to, to his ears, man. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm, I might be getting a little bit old to play football out there with some of those young cats, but I can still, still bring some hat. And Dwayne Johnson knows that. Anyone at Wizard World Fort Lauderdale, or maybe Wizard World Tulsa, we mentioned Undertaker, but anyone that maybe you would like to meet or that you're a fan of, or is there anyone at these events that you have already met that was cool? I met Mike Tyson, and I'm going to see him in Tulsa, and he was, and, and so I can't, I can't wait to see him again. And so yeah, he's just, he's always just, he's such a, again, another guy that I can tell you, just such a nice guy, you know, just the biggest heart in the world. Um, uh, it, you know, I'm I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to seeing Bruce Campbell again. We work together. Uh, Sean Astin's here. He's going to be in Tulsa. I get to say hi to him. We work together on uh, with for Steven Spielberg on Into the West. So you start doing these things, and it's so weird because you you end up you end up becoming friends with so many people that, that, are, that are and I'm not counting myself, but are American icons. You know what I mean? And so you become friends with them. So you don't get to see them that much. And so when you get to come here, it's just as much fun for us as it is for everybody else because you get to slap high five with your buddy. You know, and it's and so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's always an honor for me. I mean, I came here tonight. Let's be honest about it. I came here tonight in a limo with Lou Ferrigno. It was me and Lou Ferrigno, the incredible Hulk. I, you know, I'm trying to be cool and just like, yeah, you know, I was on leverage and all that stuff. But I knew I'm sitting with the Hulk. It was the coolest thing in the world, man. He's such a nice guy. And so it was, it was, it was so much fun. For me. These things are so much fun for me because, like I said, I get to, I get to make new friends and I get to high five old friends. You were in a, a great show called Leverage, yes, and now it's on syndication, and it ran five seasons. My question first for that is, and to me, that's successful. Yes. Has it changed because there's so many ways to watch TV now that if you have a series on five seasons, it doesn't have to be seven, eight, nine seasons. You have a, a series for four or five seasons, that's it's a thumbs up. A, it's a success. If you have anything for five seasons, it's absolutely a success. I mean, I mean, this day and age where most things go away, and I think that's why our fans, God bless them, are so loyal is because we didn't go away on them. You know what I mean? A lot of times you watch a new show, you're excited about a show coming out, and you watch it for the first season or maybe even six times and it goes away on you and you're prepared to follow that thing you know what I mean but we, we stayed there we stuck it out and we fought just as hard as everybody else to keep us on the air and uh, and, and I think that, that, that that's a testament to them and it's a testament to us because we really love that show it was a family and we wanted to get out there and give this to the people you do five seasons on anything this day and age you're a hit you do four seasons on anything you're a hit so we were very fortunate and uh, and, um, and man, that, that was just, and hopefully, 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 there's talks of a movie. Nice. Yeah. How would Elliot do as a pro wrestler? Elliot would be fine as a pro wrestler as long as, as long as, he would get beat up a lot, but he's always going to do the finishing move, you know, when the ref's not looking. As long as the ref's not looking, Elliot Spencer's going to be just fine. And I'll, I'll wrap this up with you. Yeah. Lindy Booth yeah. is with you in The Librarians, sure. which is your new show that's out. Good. And... John Larroquette, who's also, for people that are into comedy, know him from Night Court, which is where I know him, also... Uh, Emmy Award winner, like three-time Emmy Award winner. Unbelievable. Yeah. And they're on The Librarians with you. Do you think they're wrestling fans? I think John Larroquette is a closet wrestling fan. I think John Larroquette is a closet wrestler fan. Now, Lindy Booth is... Uh, is, is, is married to the guy that did Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2 and all that other kind of stuff. So I know he knows about wrestling. I know for a fact because I've been to the house and seen figures. So, I just, I, you know, he's like me. He's like this. He's, he's a guy that, that really enjoys that kind of stuff. But I'm telling you right now, and I'm going on record by saying, John Larroquette is a closet wrestling fan. He knows exactly. Now, he may only know from, from 1980 to... 1994, 96, or something like that. He may have like gotten out of it a little bit just because you know he was like, well, it's, it's now it's not that cool anymore. Or, but I guarantee you, I, I guarantee you, if he was, if he, he would know who the Undertaker was. And do you have a website? You have your band, which is called. 
It's called Kane, K A N E, or Christian Kane, really, this, this day and age, because I've played a lot by myself. Uh, ChristianKane.com, uh, ChristianKane01, at ChristianKane01 on Twitter, and uh, Kane Music, Kane's Kitchen, my new cooking show. I mean, man, there's a whole bunch of things. Just go to Facebook, just Christian Kane Facebook, and you can find it. Christian Kane Multitasking. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother.